Hi everybody, as you can see I'm back in the workshop and it's uh, daylight. So today I want to start to put everything back together, all together. Uh, I've decided to go with screws and wooden plugs to cover the holes. It doesn't really warrant an awful lot of effort with joinery, I don't think it's standing on my daughter's table. And um, so I decided for time I'm going to go with screws and also for people at home you can uh, see how I put them together with screws. I could have took a route, but I just decided I didn't want to put so much effort into this particular project. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to screw it together. So the next thing I need to do is straighten up an edge on my shelves, cut them to final length, drill holes, and start to assemble things. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's get into it. So now I'm ready to drill the holes. I've marked everything out on the sides of the shelving unit. Uh, these are the screws I'm going to use. They're five millimeter diameter. Uh, they're 50 millimeters long, five centimeters. And this is the kind of bit that they need. It's a T25, I believe. This is the drill I'm gonna use, and it's got another knife here that'll cut a hole for me to put a plug inside and hide the head of the screw. And this is the plug cutter. These are a set, they come together. This is 12.7 millimeters diameter. So this one cuts plugs that fit exactly this hole and this screw will move freely through this diameter. This is a five mil drill bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna put all this in the drill press and drill all the pieces. So I'm gonna drill these pieces now. First of all, I'm just gonna drill a five millimeter hole all the way through without making a place for the plug because this is the inside of the cabinet. So I'm just gonna drill a hole through and then I'll flip it over and cut the hole for the plug. Uh, it's kind of tricky doing this with a camera in your face. Now it's always wise to have a piece of something flat underneath your workpiece when you're drilling so it won't tear out on the other side. I'm not actually too concerned about tear out because I'm going to drill a bigger hole for the plug so it's not too bad. And I also don't need to be crazy accurate here. It's just screws. As long as the piece is that I'm screwing on are on the line, everything's good. It doesn't really matter if the screw's not 100% central. I would always recommend marking everything out even for a simple task like putting some screws in. If I hadn't have bothered marking it, I would have probably ended up drilling too close to this edge where there's no shelf, actually. The shelves are slightly So inside. I've been thinking, while we're all in isolation like this, maybe I could help people to learn woodwork live, online. Um, My partner's been doing yoga live online with her yoga teacher and a class of students, some of them in the country and some of them abroad. And, and he's live and they're live and he corrects them and tells them to do the pose like this and not to do it like that. And he can individually interact or as a class interact with them. So, so we thought this could be something we could apply to woodworking. Um, and I particularly love rustic woodworking and it's something, these are all big eyes look exactly where the screws were. 
So, yeah, I thought maybe rustic woodworking. And maybe as a project to begin with, build a shaving horse. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below of that idea. Or if it's not rustic, you know, any kind of woodworking. I think um, I was thinking to help people set up a small workshop in their home if they don't have anything and they'd like to do something at home. Now could be a good time to start making a little workshop. That's why I thought a shaving horse or maybe a saw horse. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. So now I'm going to drill the hole for the plug and the countersink for the screw. And I'm just going to put a stopper on my drill press for that. So I can continue chatting and not have to think too much. So now I've mounted the plug cutter and out of the material that I cut off the edge of the sides when I made the shape, I'm going to cut the plugs. And I'm going to put a stop so they will be the same length. Once I've cut my plugs, I can pop them out like this with a screwdriver. And then this end that was up is slightly smaller than this end. So that's the end that goes in the hole. And I try to align the grain as well when I put them in. Now you could saw them off. Uh, you could use a bandsaw, a table saw, a hand saw. But to be honest with you, I, I do it like this. Now I'm ready to put the screws in. As you see, I've stood everything up this way and used these jigs to hold on to the shells, like legs, um, so I could put the screws in. Now the reason I do it like this and not flat on the table is because we've got a groove at the back and I need to be flush with the back. I want to be flush here. I want to see my marks that I'm in the right place. So I find it much more comfortable to assemble it this way and not on its back. So now I'm going to start to put the screws in. So now I'm going to drill a pilot hole. There's going to be three screws in each shelf. So I'm drilling pilot holes first so I don't split them.
Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Can you believe where I am? Look, I'm standing up a ladder to film this stuff. It, uh, kind of looks nice, the blue. What you say, guys? Let's try another. Possibly something like this. Could be. So, of course, um, <clears throat> I didn't have any oil mixed up when I need it. So, I'm just going to mix up some oil. Yacht varnish, linseed oil, turpentine, turpentine. I'm going to mix that all up. And uh, then I'm going to get it all, give all of the parts a coat of oil, including the back, which I still didn't decide how it's going to be. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. And I'm going to give it as much oil as it wants to soak up here on the end grain, for example. It's going to soak up a lot. Okay, so I wasn't wearing gloves while I applied the oil. I just didn't feel like putting them on, they were sweaty. And... But all the oil gets stuck under your fingernails and all over the place. So here's a little hand cleaning tip. I take a bit of dish soap, like that. And then I take some sawdust, which us woodworkers usually have in plentiful supply. And then I start to do this. work all that sawdust into all the crooks and crannies and, uh, I think the ladies call this peeling <laughs> this gets it out from all those crooks and all those places or alternatively wear gloves it's probably much better for your health Oh yeah, now I'm just going to go and wash all that off under the tap. All right then, so that's it for today. Uh, it's very late at night, but I've been having a ball. I hope you guys have enjoyed all this. So in the next episode, what we're going to do, we're going to put the back on. Everything will have had two or three coats of oil at least and rubbed off, but I'm not going to bore you with all of those uh, steps. So the back will be connected. I'm going to take it home and put it in my daughter's bedroom. So that's what you've got to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got anything to say, please mention it in the comments below. What I was talking about, about online uh, woodworking. Let me know what you think because, hey, we're all stuck at home at the moment and no one can get out. So maybe it's something that could be useful and fun. Let me know. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.